Hey friends, how are we doing well? In this video, we'd like to explore the different kind of formatting options we have for our measures in Power BI. As you can see here, in my example, I have here a table with various categories, and I have the amount as well as the sales amount. So two numerical values in here, but the amount could be, for instance, in tons, it could be in kilograms, or any other kind of metric we might have. The sales, on the other hand, could be in US dollars, in euros, or any other kind of currency, for instance, right? So how can we form with these exactly the way we want? Well, if we go to the measure itself, so if I search for new sales, for instance, because that's the name of my measure here, and I click it, of course, then the measure tools uh, ribbon appears, and there I can specify what kind of formatting I want. For instance, do I want to have a thousand separator, which is currently already in here, which is this one here, or do I want to see, for instance, here, uh, different kinds of amounts, dollar amounts, and so on. For instance, here is a US dollars. Click this option here, and you see that now I have a dollar symbol in front. Also, I have here the amount of decimal numbers, which I can specify. Currently, we have two, but of course, I can also set it to one as an example, and you see that now I have one decimal, or it's could zero, whatever I want, right? So, uh, so not 10, but two. So these are the options we have with the default ones. So far, so good. But now let's say this metric here, which is the total amount in my case, I want to show this as kilograms, for instance. How can I do that? Because if I select the new amount here, then of course you can see it's just the sum of the amount column in my case. But what I can't do is here go up there in whole number and then specify a different kind of format, right? So it's not available in here by default. What I could do is first and foremost, I could go to the new amount in this case here and I could use the formatting function in Power BI. So I can say format like this, and then the sum of the amounts, and then as a second argument for the formatting function, I need to specify the format. So for instance, I could say, I'd like to see this as the amount itself, and then also a kilogram in afterwards. So space kilogram, I close my parenthesis, I press here enter or commit, and you see that now I have kilograms in here, which is fine, I could do that. However, what happens if I now want to use this as, for instance, a bar chart visual? So if I would control C to copy this, control V to paste it, and let me just drag it to the side, and then let me just kick out the new sales. I only want to see the amount. And now let's actually switch this from a table to a bar chart, a column chart. So take this option and you see I can't see anything. Why is that? Well, the reason for this is that the formatting function converts a number in a text value. And as soon as we format a number into a text value using formatting function, then of course we can't use it anymore in any kind of bar chart, for instance, or pie chart, or, or donut chart, anything like that. So it's not possible. We can only use it in table structure where we can see the number. And I can show this to you because if I go back to the new amount and I actually get rid of this, so let me just remove this part and also let me remove the formatting part, and we have the sum of the odd amount, check it, and then we should see, actually, if I go it here, it's currently on the wrong, it's in the tooltips. So let me drag it to the X axis. Now we can see the, actually the bars. So let me also, at first, let me add the data labels. And just to show you that this really works, let me go in here. And let me also say for the, the field value, display units, I want to see none. So I want to see the real amounts. And now let's do this one more time, just to make sure that really is what I told you, that if I use the formatting function, so format, and one more time, we use the sum of the amounts. And here we put in zero, 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 and then kilograms, for instance, we press enter, and we see that this doesn't work anymore. So the formatting function can be useful in any kind of table or KPI we show, but not in a, in a bar chart, for instance, or in any kind of uh, donut chart, or anything like that. So we need to get rid of this. Let's remove this part, and also let's remove this part one more time. Okay, so what can we do? The first option we're gonna have is to use uh, custom format strings. What I mean by that is, I think it's the easiest way is to go to the model view and then select the new amount in here. And if we do this and scroll down, we can see that the currently the format is whole number. So in there, I could actually go there and say custom. Now for the custom, I can specify here my format string. So if I say for instance zero, which is the number itself, and then space and then kilograms, I press enter. You see that there's an example. And if I go back to my in this case, report view, I can see that now I have kilograms in here and I still can show the bar chart. So this just formats the number, but it still keeps it as a type of number, which means we can use it any kind of chart. So a bar chart, a donut chart, whatever we want to use. And of course, also the table structure here works the same as well. 
Now this is one option. What is the second option? The second option for measures would be dynamic format strings. A dynamic format string means that we can specify in here how we want to format uh, a specific value in our view. What I mean by that is, for instance, we could say, currently we have drinks here at the top. And I could say, I have a use case where drinks is, for instance, in a different um, unit, for instance, in tons, right? And the other ones are in kilograms, just as an example. So if you want to format something in the view different from the other parts, if that's our use case, then we need to use dynamic format strings. Because with custom format strings, as you can see here, all of them are formatted the same way. So to do this, we can go back, let's go first, go back in here and say for this one, let's go back with uh, just a zero for the custom one. And now the, for the dynamic format string, we could either do it in here and click dynamic, but I actually prefer it to do it in the, here in the report view. And then I select the measure like new amount. And in here, I could say for the formatting option, go here. Instead of using custom, which you can also type in here if you want, I could go in here and say dynamic. So if I tick dynamic here, you see that now I have this formatting option here. So next to the, if I click here, next to the measure itself, I also have the format. And if I select format, I can write here my specific format string. And I can also use DAX for that to make it more dynamic. That's why it's called dynamic format string. So as an example, if I say something like if, the if function, and then if the selected value, so selected value, and in my case, it's the category, which I currently have in the view. So if I search for in my orders table, the category, this one here. So if this is equal to, and let's say drinks, just as an example, we use the top one, then our, my format string should be zero. And then for instance, uh, T for tons, right? You can use any kind of abbreviation you want. TN, I think that would also work, but let's say T for now. So that's my first string. And otherwise, if that's not the case, I would like to have still kilogram. So I say zero space and then kilogram like that. Then I can close the parenthesis and I'm good to go. So in here, I can specify dynamic DAX formulas in order to format my different kinds of, well, in this case, categories I have in my view differently. So if I press now the checkbox here, watch what happens with the different kinds of values we have. So let me check it. And you see that now I have 9,532 T, so for tons. Of course, you can change it if you want. And for the other ones, I have kilograms. And that's basically it. So we have various options to format. Of course, we can always use the format function, but as you've seen, the format function has a main flaw, which means that it converts our number into text. And as soon as we convert a number into text, we can't use it in any kind of bar chart anymore or any kind of pie chart, donut chart, anything like that. We can only use it in tables as well as in a KPI card. If we still need to have it as a number, a numerical value, we have two options. We can either go with the custom format strings, as we've seen. You can either type the custom format string directly in here in the format section, or you can go to the model view, which I prefer, and use custom there and enter what you want. This means that you format it differently, but you do it the same way for all the elements you have in the view for one specific measure. And the last option, which is the most dynamic one, of course, would be dynamic format strings, which can, applied, or can be applied to measures and only measures, not calculated columns, by the way, only measures. And this means that we can write our custom DAX formula, which allows us to differently format what we have in the view based on exactly what we have in the view, right? So in my case, on the different kinds of categories. And this can be much more um, sophisticated. So it could be a nested if function or a switch function you can use, any kind, any kind of a DAX function you want. So everything is possible in here. Just write it and then check it out. And you still have a number, but of course format it exactly the way you want. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you understood what we did. And hopefully you can now use any kind of format you need for your Power BI reports. So thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.